Good morning, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms. This is not normally the day I'd make a video, but Miss Kitty, I believe, had her kittens a couple of days ago, and she's been coming in only in the mornings and eating, and then she disappears for 24 hours. And yesterday, I looked and I looked and I looked all over in the woods out here. I looked everywhere. I called her. She did not come up. Grandma and I have been really, really worried. So I was hoping when I come out this morning to feed everybody that she would be out here. And look, she's here. She showed up. So what I'm going to do is follow her back into the woods because she comes out from over there. So somewhere over there, I believe she has kittens. So this morning, I've got to find out. I know what she's doing. She waits till she hears the garage door. She knows then that I'm coming out to feed everybody. And she, of course, has been eating her own egg. So she comes over here while I feed the birds. And I give her an egg. But this is where I have to watch her. This is what she did yesterday morning. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Normally, she follows me all around. So I'm completely done with chores. Yesterday she disappeared. So this morning I've got to keep my eye on her. Well, she followed me in and I threw another egg down for the girls. Sassy and Gray and Magneto. So she came in and now she's getting her second egg. So I gave them one over here. I just got to wait and see what she's going to do. Our goats will have to wait just a little bit. Now we're going to see which way she's going to go. Is she going to follow me like she normally does? Or is she going to go the other direction? There she goes. I got to follow her. Now she's going to scratch on the tree. Oh my word. There she goes. And will she let me follow her? Will she go back? Will she go back to him? Or will I spook her? Where is she? Is that no way? That close? Is she in that burn pile? Or that pile of wood? She's watching me. Look, that's where she's going. They're in there. I'll bet you a dollar bill they're in that pile. They sure are. I called her yesterday and called her and called her. She doesn't come out. That's where they are. I'll bet you a dollar. Honey, have you got kitties in there? Uh-oh. She sure does. Hang on a minute. Oh, I hear him. I see him. Looky there. Oh, my goodness. Hi, kitty. There they are. There they are. She had them right there. You see that little one? Look at there. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. There's one, two, three. Hi, kitty. I hope, I don't know if she trusts me or not. She, at least she, look at there. Oh, my gosh. You guys see those? Look at that. Oh my word, honey. I tried to get you to have them in the garage, huh? I don't know if she's a first time mama or what. Look at there. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Blows me away. here purring. I'm not going to reach in there right now. I'm going to go ahead and feed the rest of the animals now that I know she's there. Thank you, Lord, that she's this close. I was worried about them, but she got them nestled down in there, but boy, I know that's, it's not real cold right now, but bless her hearts. How in the world has she been doing that? Keeping them warm. All right, honey, I'm okay. I don't want to spook her. You're okay, honey. 
I'll try to get in there later, but yeah, and they look like that black tabby cat. There's one of them that's tabby. We'll find out. It looks like at least three. She wasn't that, she's not that big a cat, so she just had three. We're good. There's four babies. Two gray, two black that I think, I think it's one, two, three, four. I think there's four all together. Two gray ones, two black ones. That's a good mama. That's a good mama. Oh boy, that's a girl. Oh man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little research on this, figure out whether or not I need to take them out and, or leave them in there. Um, at least I know where they're at. I'll tell you what, it's so weird though, because I come out yesterday and I walked all over the woods calling her. I walked right by there. But the good part about it is, I mean, I, Grandma and I, neither one, slept a wink last couple of nights knowing she was out here wow all right um gonna feed the rest of the animals well i suppose after that y'all are going to want an update on the kitty cats aren't you yeah me and grandma great grandkids great grandparents again not only the chickens now to uh, kitty cats so i'll tell you what we'll do let's just start this part out here we're gonna let's go take a look at the little kitties now it is i'll just tell you it's it is monday afternoon that video that you just saw about the kittens by the time you see this will be four or five five days old so they are uh, going to be changing quite a bit but let me show you what i did for them because you know part of the issue was that I was talking about when they when I first found them is safety that's number one and some of you may be saying look you need to go put them in the garage get them a box remember Miss Kitty only went into the garage when it was cold during the day she would leave no matter what and every time that door goes up and down she doesn't like it she takes off I figure this much if she would have wanted to have those kittens in that garage, she would have done it. She picked that place, okay, for her. She picked that place because she felt it was the safest place for them. So we have not moved them. In fact, it, you know, I haven't had kittens in a long, long time. And what I've been researching says you really shouldn't touch them for two weeks. It'll be four to six weeks before they're weaned. So I'm going to try to leave them in place. Yes. There are some things that I don't like about that, but the opposite of that would be if I tried to force the issue and take them into the garage, that she would take them out and go take them somewhere else, and I don't want that to happen. If there were some extreme weather or something like that, if it got real super cold, or I, I wouldn't have a choice. I wouldn't leave her out here with them. But we're not supposed to have a super big fluctuation. Uh, the fact, the night she had them, it was below 40 degrees, folks. It was below 40. But I had no idea. So she's been doing fine. I don't know if it's her first litter, second litter. She's done such a great mama. But here's what I here's where they're at. All right, this was that burn pile. All right, and I showed you that. But I came down this morning, and I put a tarp over this. She's in there now. I'll show you in a minute. I got this thing battened down here. Got the all the way around with straps. So it doesn't flip and flop in the wind. And in case it rains, they're going to be safe in there. Okay. So trust me, if anything happens, I'm on it. Now the only issue would be if we had a big, big rain, we do have a water flow comes down here. But I don't think it goes into here. And that log is there. I'll be watching. You know, I mean, if I have to, heck, if it rains, I'll just come out here if it got too bad, and I'll, I'll get them. But for right now, I just feel like this is where they need to be. But let me show you here. She's in there now. Say, enough talking, Grandpa. Let's see what's going on. Hi, Kitty. She way back in there. See her? There she is. Hi, honey. Hi, Chigger. There she is. Now, it's just a little triangle back there surrounded by three or four pretty good logs. Now, can you see the little ones? I'm gonna hold it there for just a minute. 
I don't want to spook her. She's been doing really good. She's back in there. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. She's a good mama. She rolls around in there till they get just right. She stays in there for hours. As you can see it's kind of tight quarters, but it's pretty safe, I suppose. She sleeps in there and hangs out with them. Okay. All right, Miss Kitty. She's such a good mama. She's been really, really good. And I can get back there and uh, pet her. From day one, she let me right in there. I just lean in and pet her all I want. I have not touched the kittens yet. I'm not touching them. But she's very comfortable letting myself, letting me in there. I pulled this down, got it strapped down tight, so nothing. There's no rain can get in there. And in the mornings, the problem was the sun would come comes up here in the east, and boy, it was coming right in on them, you know. So now that sun won't be hitting her and making her hot in the mornings, uh, being that it's going to start kind of warming up. So, yeah, uh, I come out of the house. She hears the garage door in the morning. She comes right up. She eats. I give her an egg or two, whatever she wants to eat. I bought her some uh, special little uh, canned cat food to give her a little bit of extra boost in what she's been eating. But she's doing great. The kittens are great. All four of them. So for right now, I'm going to leave them there. I just, I just don't feel comfortable taking them up here and putting them in the garage. I just don't think she would stay. I, she didn't like being there by herself. There's no way she's going to let them little kittens in there. So I, I think she's safe. You know, I, I don't, I don't know of any predator. You know, I know there's raccoons, but you know, I just, I'm, I'm trying to just check on her as much as I can. But I just think uh, in the long run, that may be the best place, best place for, her. you know, that's, uh, that's how we're going to do it right now. But anyhow, yay, we're, uh, <laughs> we got babies. We got new babies on the farm. How about that? Awesome. Okie doker. Well, let's go feed some animals. Goodness gracious. Baby chicks, baby kitties, you name it. Oh, by the way, check this out. Look at that. No sleeves, shorts, grandpa's shorts, making appearance. It's like 82 degrees out here. Look at the animals. I mean, they're sitting there going, oh man, it is warm out here, grandpa. We're having a nice little afternoon siesta. The birds. They're chilling in the shade. Now, 82 degrees. First part of April. Tomorrow night. Let's see. T tomorrow day, 80 some odd degrees, right? Tomorrow night, a low of 40. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what happens when you have hot, hot and 40 degree swing? Well, you're going to get some nasty weather, maybe some rain, probably rain. And I know they're calling for in the Midwest again. Hold it, I'm hung up. Hold it. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> I didn't. Maybe I got to high step it a little bit. Great balance, though, for an old guy. Let's try it again. Here we go. Anyhow, they're calling for some nasty weather again in the Midwest. Like, like we need more south and east of us. A little bit of us so we're preparing for that I'm hoping that they're wrong but tomorrow is supposed to be mid 80s it's still too early we talked about it last time still too early to be that hot so everybody just heads up if you're in that area it's supposed to be pretty wide wide area so you know let's pray and hope everybody this time is prepared and we have no casualties okay hey Nelly she whistling at me uh-oh, what you barking at? What you barking at, Nelly? Huh? You're okay. You're all right. Yeah. Oh, boy, let's see what's in here. What's behind door? Oh, get the bug. Get that bug. Get it. Get it right there. Oh, you just... 
hang on, hang on a minute. Get in there, get in there. Jump up there. Did you get him? You see any? There you go. You get one at a girl. Oh, did he duck? It's just so warm. Hey, listen. It's not too hot for the wormy dance, so. Yeah, we gotta can do the wormy dance, can't we? Yeah. Da 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 Yay! That's a wormy dance. Oh, I want to let that mouse out so bad. Remember last time we almost got him. Remember he ran out underneath there. I just don't think they're too interested. You know what? I don't know why. I don't know why. Here, come here. Let's get these wormies. Let's see if we can get y'all lined up right here. Let's get y'all out here. Hey, I know it. It could be a temperature change thing. You know, they're just not as active as they went here with Nelly. Here, honey. Not quite as active as they uh, normally would be if it was cooler. But you know what they say, you think the winter time is tough on chickens. But the word is, summertime and heat is a lot worse on them than cold. So, we'll be prepared for that. I know, what do you guys think? Huh? You think we better get an egg or two? Let's see if we got some eggs. Let's see. Oh, looky here. One. Oh, my lands. Man, you girls, you go girls. I know it. I heard that. She goes, yes, sir. Yes, sirree. Yes, sirree. We got some eggs. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds like somebody doing an egg laying song out there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten eggs in there, kids. Look at that. Good job, girls. Look at them. What do you think? What do you want? Tell me about it. Who's who's doing the egg laying song out there? Look at them. We want eggs. We want eggs. We want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. All right. Let's go outside. Come on. Let's go outside. Come on. Here we go. Come on, girls. Let's go. You ready? Here we go. First one. First one to it is a rotten egg. Boom. <laughs> uh, here, Nelly. Boom. Kind of fun, actually. One in the middle. Boom! Awesome. Yeah. What are you doing over there, little red? Come on, honey. Come on, get over and get you an egg. I can't, I can't make, which way you going? Go on. I don't know if she's intimidated by the mother birds or what. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They're all out here. They're all out there. I know. I'll get, they even get one for breakfast and they get, look at them. Pacing up and down there. Still blows my mind how come those two girls don't jump that fence like he does. Isn't that weird? I find that quite strange. I really do. I really, really do. Oh, man. You know what? Where's my red bird over here? Where's, where's, come here. Who, come over here. Who, Ginger? Come here. Come on, honey. Get it. Here, here, let me help you. I know. Oh, don't quit. Here. Let me get you a bug. There's one right there. Get him. Here he is. Wait a minute. I'll get him. Did you get one? There he is. Get him. That a girl. That a girl. Hang on, baby. Back up. Now look how close she'll get to me. But if I tried to touch her, she'd flip out. Yeah, I gotta get some other bowls out here. Uh oh, oh, she hears. They hear a uh, blue jay. They don't like blue jays. They will take off and hide. Even like, a, like a, even more so than a hawk. I don't know why. Probably reminds them of a hawk. But, now there's a hawk. Right there. Which I found a uh, hawk's nest, by the way over there on the east side. I know where there's a hawk nest, right out there in the yard. Sure do. And I know there's a little one because mom and daddy are going back and forth, coming and going and, you know, bringing it food. So I can, I can hear them screaming now. Thank you for the eggs, girls. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we really appreciate it. All right, look out. That Miss Nelly. Here we go. Okay. Here, girls. Here go, Mags. Boop. Here we go. <laughs> I 
Love it. Love it. Love it. Hi, little girl. Hi, little mama. Did you take a break, huh? Is you taking a break from the kids? Okay. You feel better now that you had them babies, huh? Did you feel better? I know it. They're such a good mama. We're going to keep one. The uh, veterinarian's office said she couldn't be spayed until you know, like a month. But you know, they won't even be weaned four to six weeks from now. So we're going to have to wait longer than that. A little bit longer than that. And they said that with the research I did, you're not supposed to take them away from her until they're at least eight weeks old. They won't be ready for the transition. So we're going to wait that long before anybody gets one. I know Chad and Ray spoke up and wanted one. I think Kyle and Shannon are talking about it. They might. So that only leaves us with one and one other. But it's maybe, some, you know, we'll, uh, shouldn't be just having four. It's not going to be a problem. But, but we're going to keep one. I, I have no idea, male and female. No idea. Like I said, I haven't touched them. And I, don't, I guess you can tell this early. I don't know. I haven't had kittens. In a, in a well, I've never had kittens personally, you know what I'm saying, but I haven't had baby kittens around the house for oh my word, I can't tell you 30 plus years. You know, it's that's a good girl. Hey, I gotta go feed some goats, even though they're just <laughs> they're not all excited over there, just laying there. They're just laying there, kitty. They are just laying there. I know we're just a good girl, you're such a good girl, you're such a good mama. So I guess we know now, everybody that said you were not a girl, guess what? You is a girl, that's for sure. Yeah. Listen, are you just that tired that you can't get up? Huh? You can't get up and get out the way so Grandpa can come in? Huh? Oh, Grandpa, it's just one of them afternoons. It is. We're just feeling lazy. Can I just lay here for a little while? Oh, listen here. Well, I think we should get up. Hey, can I come in? You all right, buddy? Huh? You all right? Just laying down. Are you okay? Huh? All right, hop up. Don't act weird on me now. Huh? Don't act weird on me. Okay? Yeah. Ooh, just hot. Let's see if he gets up. Come on, bub. You coming? You coming down? Hmm? Well, I guess he'll come down. There he goes. All right. I'll get that later. Come on. I just went. Wow. It was weird. I, oh, I'll tell you what. I lay down like that. I'm just being sitting. Batman, come on, honey. I, it's yours, but you got to get, let's get this down here. I get to laying around like that. And, you know, sometimes one of the signs of something being wrong with the goat is be there, be laying around. Don't want to get up. He's just being lazy. Just being tired. It, it's, it's warm today. So they're a little bit out of sorts. A little warm. Yeah, it got hot kind of fast, didn't it, fellas? Just wanted to look at them. So, old Grandpa, we're just moving a little slow today. Yeah, we got plenty of water to drink. You know, one thing here about Grandpa Adler Farms is that it's really shady. It's nice and shady all the time. A lot of good places to lay. Oh, man. Plenty of shade. Come on. Say, so, come on. All right. Oh, you know what? I know y'all gonna say, Grandpa, you said you're gonna do that and you didn't do it. I didn't get that shelter over the hogs walla. Oh, somebody kicked me. Kicked me hard. Kicked me hard. They're in the wallow, but you know the thing is it's gonna be like what 55 tomorrow? 50, 55. So the priority today was getting uh, the shelter for the kitty cats. I had to do that. Hi girls. Look at that muddy face. A face only a grandpa could love. I know it. Oh, look at that mud. Oh, girlfriend. All right, hop down. So get, get in there. I'm coming in. Lean back. Lean back. Look out. Come on, lean back, babe. Okay, hop down. Oh, if you touch me, guess what? I don't have my tall boots on. You're going to get me all muddy. Oh, hang on. Oh, you guys are muddy. It's a, oh, you got me in the back. Oh, I've been slimed. Oh, I got slimed again. Oh, I'm getting slimed. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> Here, honey. Oh, oh, man. I got slimed. No, baby. <laughs> I got slimed. 
that's why you wear oh look at that oh you got me I look like I got a tan now yeah, that's better all righty oh look at the mud all right we'll fill her up we'll fill up that wallow somebody said oh those look how big those cooney coonies are compared to how they were when you got them it hadn't been quite a year I think it's about a year since they were born approximately and we'll have them about a year I think here in another month or so well they'd be about 11 months in but you know comparatively speaking folks really look at Lola okay and look at them yes they're big compared to what they were when you know I could take my hand and I could touch a hind leg and a front leg at the same time yes that was small but uh, and they are a lot bigger now but they're still small in to me in the in the world of pigs compared to Mama Lola. They're small. Here we go. Oh, P Dub, you know, right in front of everybody, you know, that kind of behavior. There's just there's no no call for it at all. That easy, easy. Here we go. Gotcha. All right. Here we go, big man. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, boys. What do you want, P-Dub? What do you want? Say, old grandpa, you know what we want. What you want, Fox? What do you want? Huh? Both of you got these, he's got that goatee thing going on, and uh, P-Dub's got one growing right there, too. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, come here. Come here, let's do what everybody says don't do. You know what, you know what I was known for when I was a kid? Yeah, somebody said don't do something. Guess what I did? I, I did it. I did it anyway. Yep. Now I'm going to set, I got to get on the other side of these two. Yeah, if you say don't do it, I do it anyway. Yeah, Peter, <laughs> relax, buddy. Here we go. That's it. Here, hang on. All right, there we go. Okay, that's it. Just two, 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 two. Don't do it, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa does it. Don't do it, little Ralph. <laughs> little Ralph did it. Ain't that right? Yeah. Don't tell me not to do something. I'll run right out and do it. That's what we do. That, that Batman, I can run that myself. I can run it, young man. I can run that myself. Come here. I don't listen. Go get your own channel. You know, go get your own equipment. Yeah, yeah. Don't mess with my stuff. Okay. You want people to watch you on your own channel? Go get one. I'll help you start it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's a good boy. That's a good boys. Oh yeah. These are my buddies. These are my buddies. Yeah. Oh, ain't that sweet? That's right. They're sweet as can be. We're just sweet as we can be. Yeah. There we go, boys. Oh, man. Here we go. Well, let's pick through it. How's that? Good stuff. All right. That's my boys. That's my boys. <laughs> Like eating a piece of spaghetti or something, you know. That's pretty funny. All right, let me get these eggs, and we're going to take it in up there to the house. Oh, how many? Anybody want to make a wager? I think, I think two. Two eggs. Oop. You got to grunt just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. Ding, 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 ding. Two, two, two eggs. And I, I haven't checked this other side in a little while. I just can't imagine. I don't think they're laying any up here. Hang on. No. No. No, 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 no. Ah. Wee. Now, after that last pretty good sized wind we had, I shored this up with some two before us little pieces because this thing here was blowing completely in. With those gusts we had the other day and now for some reason this thing here has busted i don't know oh that was just tied that's loose now i'm going to have to get a piece of uh of siding and put from here to there at least on the bottom part as it gets warmer i'll take that top part down so they'll have a nice breeze through there something see her right there see her what's she after Look, what does she see? 
See her? I can see it myself. What is it? It's a lizard. <laughs> it's a lizard. Oh, for crying out loud. Get it. Get it. Watch out. It's a killer lizard. No way. She's seriously going to eat that lizard? That tail. Get it, girlfriend. Get it. <laughs> i tell you what, let's do real quick. Before she gets back in here, let's see if I can get you a closer shot of the baby's limb all together. How's that? Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah, she's still after that lizard. Oh, yeah, they're in a little pile. I don't know, it's kind of dark in there. If y'all can see or not, hang on, let me see if I can. Oh, sorry about that last little bit there. Lost audio. Must have pushed a button, but we're back on now. Hey, I wanted to show you the chicks. Let you see how much they've grown. Hi. Hi, everybody. Shh. It's okay. It's all right. They're really growing. All of them doing really well. Yeah, we're doing really good. I still use the... <laughs> the heat plate I do not have these on right now not necessary to have those on somebody was concerned about starting a fire look these things are tie wrapped right that ain't going anywhere that one I'm not even using this is tie wrapped here again I showed it on the video tie wrapped here tie wrapped here that's not going anywhere we're good but they are every day they get so tall see how tall they are now it's incredible. They're getting their feathers. You know, they got a ways to go. Beautiful. You know, the thing is about these guys, I know you're supposed to hold them, but when I lift this lid, you know, they 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 lose it. And you know, it's very difficult. You know, I'm not going to be able to hold 15 of these. Pick one up, put one down, pick one up, put one down. You know, it's just not going to happen. They're very skittish right now. I try not to scare them. Maybe when I go out there, I can hang around with them a little bit more collectively, you know. But right in here, lifting this up and trying to go in, it really scares them. I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to worry about, you know, even when you make a fast movement. I'm not going to worry about trying to hold them, folks. Um, you know, I just, I just don't like scaring them. So if I had four or five, maybe. But 15, yeah, come on. A little more difficult. Right, guys? Girls? Yeah. Yep, they're sure pretty, though. All their colors. Look at those brown ones. I have no idea how they're going to look when they get fully feathered. That's just crazy. All right. Let me see you later. Oop. Easy. Easy. Look at it. Hey, I hope you had fun today. I certainly did. I really enjoyed it. Thank you all for coming along. We appreciate you. Very thankful for all of our Adler Farms family members. God bless you wherever you are. Be safe. And until next time, everyone, goodbye. Wave goodbye, girls. Just like that. <laughs>